Yo, it's your one and only doctor. Cool, I just noticed something. Maxwell, Chikumbutso just shut down the entire Western world in 2025. Now the Western world are in serious panic. You know, for decades, the West controlled the auto industry. The roaring engines, the smell of gasoline and the thrill of the open road were all part of a culture that celebrated freedom and innovation. Factories churned out millions of cars, each one a testament to human ingenuity and the power of fossil fuels. The assembly lines were marvels of efficiency, producing vehicles that would become icons of their time. Big oil fueled our gas-guzzling machines. The oil rigs standing tall against the horizon were symbols of progress and prosperity. Gas stations became ubiquitous, serving as pit stops for countless journeys. Refineries worked around the clock, turning crude oil into the lifeblood of our automotive world. It was an era defined by the relentless consumption of fossil fuels, with little thought given to the environmental consequences. We thought it would last forever. Families embarked on road trips, creating memories that would last a lifetime. Classic cars became cherished heirlooms, passed down through generations. The open road was a symbol of endless possibilities, and the future seemed bright and boundless. But beneath the surface, the seeds of change were being sown. Then came the electric vehicle revolution, a new era dawned, one that promised to reshape the automotive landscape. Electric vehicles, once a distant dream, began to take center stage. Sleek, silent and efficient, they represented a break from the past and a step towards a more sustainable future. Charging stations started to appear and the hum of electric motors became the new soundtrack of progress, a shift from dirty fossil fuels to cleaner energy. Solar panels and wind turbines began to dot the landscape, harnessing the power of nature to fuel our new machines. Clean energy plants emerged, promising a future where our vehicles would no longer be a burden on the planet. The transition was not just about cars, it was about rethinking our entire approach to energy and sustainability. But who would control this new market? The race was on to dominate the electric vehicle industry. Global business leaders convened in conference rooms, strategizing and negotiating. The market was volatile, with fortunes being made and lost in the blink of an eye. Technology was the new battleground, and everyone wanted a piece of the pie. The West, of course, had plans of its own. Engineers and executives worked tirelessly, developing cutting-edge technologies and crafting ambitious plans. Western cities began to embrace electric vehicles, integrating them into their infrastructure. The goal was clear to lead the world in the electric vehicle revolution and secure a dominant position in the new market. They invested heavily in EVs. Billions of dollars were poured into research and development, manufacturing and infrastructure. Charging stations sprang up in urban areas, assembly lines were retooled to produce electric vehicles, and investors eagerly backed new ventures. The vision was grand and the stakes were high. They built charging stations and dreamt of electric avenues. Urban landscapes began to transform with charging stations becoming as common as gas stations once were. Electric cars glided through city streets, heralding a new era of clean transportation. Futuristic cityscapes emerged where electric vehicles were the norm and the air was cleaner and fresher. They thought they had it all figured out. They thought wrong. Despite the grand plans and massive investments, challenges emerged. Charging stations remained underutilized, factories faced unexpected hurdles, and the market proved to be more complex than anticipated. The journey from gas guzzlers to green machines was far from over and the road ahead was filled with twists and turns. From the heart of Africa, a challenge emerged. Maxwell Chikumbutso, a Zimbabwean inventor, claimed a breakthrough. He built a self-powered electric vehicle, no need for charging stations, no reliance on lithium batteries. Chikumbutso's invention ran on radio frequencies. He claimed to harness energy from the airwaves. A seemingly impossible feat, but could it be true? The world watched with a mix of curiosity and doubt. Imagine a world without gas stations, no more range anxiety for EV drivers. Chikumbutso's invention promised to turn the tables, radio waves, an invisible resource could power our vehicles. This technology, if true, had the potential to disrupt everything. The gasoline industry could crumble, the lithium battery market could collapse. Even the EV charging infrastructure would become obsolete. The implications were staggering. Was the world ready for such a radical change? The Western world 
known for its love of patents and scientific validation, was skeptical. Where were the peer-reviewed studies? Where was the proof? Some dismissed Chikumbutso's invention as impossible. Others called it a hoax. They demanded evidence, data, and validation. The scientific community remained divided. Was this a genuine breakthrough or just another case of wishful thinking? Section 5. A continent's hope, Africa's tech revolution. For Africa, Chikumbutso's invention was a beacon of hope. It represented a shift in the narrative. No longer just a continent of challenges, but a place of innovation. Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Mnangagwa, witnessed a demonstration of the vehicle. He saw its potential. This wasn't just about cars. It was about Africa taking its rightful place on the global tech stage. Section 6 China sees an opportunity investing in the future. While the West hesitated, China, ever the pragmatist, saw an opportunity. Chinese investors reportedly engaged in discussions with Chikumbutso. They saw the potential of mass producing this revolutionary vehicle. China, known for its rapid technological advancements, wasn't going to be left behind. They were willing to bet on the future, even if the West wasn't. Section 7 Detroit, on edge, adapt or die trying. The news from Africa sent shockwaves through Detroit. The big three automakers, once titans of the industry, faced an unprecedented threat. Their plans for electric dominance were suddenly in jeopardy. Could they compete with a car that didn't need charging? Could they adapt to this new reality? The future of the American auto industry hung in the balance. Section 8, a new world order energy independence for all. The implications of Chikumbutso's invention extended far beyond the auto industry. His groundbreaking technology, which harnesses radio frequencies to generate power, has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about energy. No longer would we be tethered to the grid or reliant on traditional power sources. This innovation could lead to a future where energy is abundant, clean and accessible to everyone, regardless of their geographic location or economic status. Imagine a world where energy independence was within reach for all nations. Countries that have long struggled with energy poverty could finally have the means to power their homes, schools and industries. This shift could lead to unprecedented economic growth and development, particularly in regions that have been historically marginalised. The ability to generate power locally would reduce the need for expensive and often environmentally damaging energy imports. Developing countries, often reliant on expensive fossil fuels, could power their economies with this new technology. Imagine rural villages in Africa, Asia and Latin America where children can study at night under electric lights and hospitals can operate without fear of power outages. This technology could also support the growth of local businesses, creating jobs and improving the quality of life for millions of people. The balance of power could shift. Nations that have historically dominated the global energy market might find their influence waning as more countries achieve energy self-sufficiency. This could lead to a more equitable distribution of power on the global stage, fostering greater cooperation and reducing conflicts over energy resources. The old order, built on control over energy resources, could crumble. As renewable energy technologies become more widespread, the demand for fossil fuels could plummet, leading to a significant reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. This transition could play a crucial role in combating climate change and preserving our planet for future generations. A new era of energy equity could dawn. People from all walks of life, regardless of their socio-economic status, could have access to clean, reliable, and affordable energy. This could lead to a more just and sustainable world where the benefits of technological advancements are shared by all. The dream of energy independence for all is not just a possibility, it is within our grasp. Section 9. The choice is ours. Embrace the disruption. In a world constantly evolving, we stand at the precipice of monumental change. The technological advancements of today are not just incremental steps forward, they are seismic shifts that challenge the very fabric of our daily lives. From the way we commute to the energy that powers our homes, disruption is the new norm. But with disruption comes a choice, a pivotal moment where we must decide our path forward. Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered EV presented the world with a choice. 
This groundbreaking innovation, a vehicle that defies the conventional need for external charging, symbolizes more than just a leap in automotive technology. It represents a paradigm shift, a move towards a future where sustainability and innovation go hand in hand. The self-powered EV is not just a car, it is a statement, a bold declaration that the future is here and it is electric. Cling to the old ways, fueled by doubt and skepticism, and you risk being left behind. The traditional combustion engine, once a marvel of human ingenuity, now stands as a relic of a bygone era. The smoke and fumes that once symbolized progress now serve as a stark reminder of the environmental cost of clinging to outdated technologies. The skepticism that surrounds new innovations often stems from a fear of the unknown, a reluctance to let go of the familiar or embrace the disruption and explore the possibilities. The future belongs to those who dare to dream, to those who see beyond the horizon and envision a world transformed by innovation. Engineers and visionaries are already hard at work, crafting the technologies that will define the next century. From renewable energy sources like solar panels and wind turbines to groundbreaking advancements in artificial intelligence and robotics, the possibilities are endless. Embracing disruption means opening the door to a future where anything is possible. The West, accustomed to being the leader, faced a difficult decision. For decades, Western nations have been at the forefront of technological innovation, setting the pace for the rest of the world. But with the rise of new technologies and the rapid pace of change, even the most established leaders must adapt or risk falling behind. The boardrooms and think tanks of the West are now filled with discussions about how to navigate this new landscape, how to maintain their edge in a world that is constantly evolving, would they adapt and evolve, embracing the new technologies and integrating them into their existing frameworks? The choice is not an easy one, but it is a necessary one. The future will be shaped by those who are willing to take risks, to invest in new ideas, and to push the boundaries of what is possible. The integration of advanced robotics, renewable energy, and cutting-edge technologies into the fabric of society is not just a possibility, it is an imperative. Or would they be left behind in the dust of this technological revolution? The consequences of inaction are clear. Those who fail to adapt will find themselves struggling to keep up, left behind as the world moves forward. The dusty streets and abandoned vehicles serve as a stark reminder of what happens when progress is ignored. The choice is clear. Evolve or be left behind. The answer, as with all things, remains to be seen. The future is unwritten and the choices we make today will shape the world of tomorrow. As we stand on the brink of this new era, the question remains, will we embrace the disruption and seize the opportunities it presents, or will we cling to the past and be left behind? The choice is ours, and the future awaits. If you don't mind, gentlemen and ladies, if you will excuse I have a flight to catch, we will meet in comments section. The real Wakanda technology kickboxing just began. Thanks.